Okay, so we are recording. Uh, you uh, came, we, you corresponded from home, right? Where Canada, wasn't it? Yes, Ottawa, Canada. You're Ottawa. And Ottawa, Canada. you've seen ophthalmologists, and yes. uh, they told you, of course, nothing could be done. Absolutely but nothing you, could be done except the vitrectomy. Yeah, you had an unusual case, and here is a video of what you had. Uh, you had these asteroid bodies, we call them. But the unique part about it, your asteroids were uh, associated with a posterior vitreous detachment, PVD we call it, okay. and they were in dense strands like this. And the dense strands fell at more or less dead center in the visual axis. Okay. So uh, I performed laser on that yesterday, and yesterday was January, the end of January 2016. And you are here in Florida, fishing in the Keys, I assume, having some fun down there. But what was your impression after one day of this? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I was pretty straightforward with you when we corresponded. I, asteroids sometimes are very, very difficult to get to the next level. But when I saw yours, I, I had a fairly good feeling that I could do it. Uh, the asteroids were in dense sheets. We explained that the goal was to sort of dissipate the density of the sheets of asteroids. And when you have a dense sheet, light can't get through it, so you saw a dense shadow, correct? Absolutely. And uh, I, I did it yesterday. It wasn't very difficult to do. Uh, the risk of this is extremely low. And your impression when you woke up this morning was? I can see. <laughs> Better. <laughs> better. Uh, we did a little more laser to, to make it a little less dense in the areas, but, but to me my, my, my overall impression of what it looked like from my side of the uh, instrument was that virtually all of the dense sheets had been dissipated somewhat, and of course the asteroids were still there, mm -hmm. but you could see behind them, and when you can see behind them your retina gets the light, and I think your visual acuity, if I'm not mistaken, improved on the chart. You saw 2030 yesterday, uh, uncorrected, I believe. Was that with your glasses? Uh, well, it was 2030, and today on the same eye chart, it's 2025. So there is an improvement of visual acuity. Did you notice a color difference by any chance? I'm yes, kind of curious. Yes, I did. I, my, originally, my right eye was a darker shade than my left eye, and this morning it was... Same. So the actual color shades mm -hmm. are, are slightly different. I, I've, I've heard that from other yeah. patients too, especially with uh, dense fibrillar masses, that they get a color perception uh, and as, change. And as I was saying this morning, 